Hey guys, in this video I'm going to take you through my four favourite mobility ball exercises. We're going to do two lower body and two upper body and first up is the piriformis. The piriformis is located to kind of deep within your hip and loosening this off can really help with your stretching and can also help to alleviate any lower back pain or pain that you have in your glutes. The best way to find this is basically just to try it out, to sit on the ball, roll around a bit and if you feel any areas of tension you can also stay there and breathe and just relax into it. Try and do two minutes each side. Next up is around the lower back and QL and we're going to elevate our feet because this slightly tilts the pelvis and it also helps to put enough pressure onto this area. If your feet are flat on the floor it doesn't quite give you the same results. Place the ball just above the kind of the hip area and just again start to move laterally so just move side to side and see if you feel any areas of tension which you can then breathe and hang out there for a little bit longer um, or just continue to move side to side. You should always be able to breathe and you shouldn't be in kind of like shaking pain. It should just be slightly uncomfortable but you should start to feel the area release as you stay there for longer. This exercise is especially useful for people who have an arch in their back. So if you're anteriorly tilting your pelvis forward, if you have tight hip flexors or psoas, then this could also be an area of tightness or shortness that you're overlooking. So give it a try. Again, two minutes each side and see how you get on. Moving into the upper body. This one you're definitely going to feel as a pole dancer. So reaching the ball around your shoulder blade and lying back down on it. You're going to be working up and down one side from kind of the bra strap area up to your trap and then around two minutes each side as before. This one, try and keep your back from arching too much and keep relaxed, keep breathing. Take it nice and slow. You're going to feel much more benefit if you breathe and relax into these positions, not shaking and pushing down as hard as you can, but just starting to relax these areas of tension as you move your arm up and down slowly. You can also move it out to the side and you can stay in any areas of tension that you feel need a little bit longer. Placing the arm behind the back also helps to get the ball a little bit deeper underneath the shoulder blade. And the last one is probably my favourite, but probably the most sadistic. There's kind of a triangle here, so above your collarbone, up into your trap and into your neck. That's where you're going to be placing the ball, as I'm demonstrating here and try not to pull my top down. Place the ball here, and then you're going to use either a pole or a door frame or anything that you, you kind of have lying around that you can push into, but you have freedom either side. Hold on to the ball with your opposite arm underneath, and then lean into the pole so that you can apply pressure. This one's a little bit different in that we can't roll around ourselves because the ball will roll off. So we're just going to move the arm up and down nice and slowly, making sure that you still keep applying pressure. You should definitely feel this one. Bringing the arm out to the side and then also bringing the arm um, just back behind you. You can also place that hand behind your back and move your head side to side, really stretching out the neck um, and trap area. This is one of my favourite positions to do. I really feel like it gives me great, great results. And you can also check, look in the mirror first before you do it. Do one side, then recheck in the mirror. And then sometimes you'll see that one shoulder has like dropped by a few inches as you've released it. So let me know how you get on. I could do more videos like this. Um, I hope you enjoy it.